I have ordered a Tesla. Yes, I have done it. Well, some of you might have seen, you might remember that we first, our first Tesla experience uh, was hiring a Tesla Model S 85 um, from Free FEV. Free FEV. Free FEV. Um, and we, we, our mission was to get from here to uh, Scotland um, and see how uh, the experience was in an electric vehicle. Uh, none of us had driven an electric vehicle before. Um, it's quite interesting the Tesla, you know, quite a, got quite a following, quite a, you know, advanced car. Um, really interested in electric vehicles because I'm a true, or we are all true petrol heads. We're just geeks as well. Um, right? We thought, can we, can we embrace this new technology and could we ever... Could we could we ever decide to replace one of our cars and have uh, an electric vehicle? Um, well, the news is yes. I have bought a Tesla. Um, it isn't actually at the moment replacing anything. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think well, I'll have to decide when it arrives. I think the thing um, is, it's, it's a weird car. Cause it's going to be probably one of the most practical cars you've got. Yeah. But also the most performance because it's what seven hundred and well depends yes. on the model you go for. Put it like this, I'm going to be playing top trumps when everybody <laughs> on this car arrives. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously we had, uh, we took the 85 uh, up to Scotland um, and then shortly afterwards, uh, I think that was enough for us both to say we, we, we were really, really interested yeah. in the Tesla brand and the product. We, we actually got there pretty much entirely on the supercharged network. And that's a big question is, does the supercharged network cover where you want to go, yeah. or do you have to take stupid detours? And what well, we did a bit. Yeah, we did. It took yeah. longer yeah. to get to Scotland, it did. but it's all part of the experience. Yeah, and the eighty-five had autopilot, and we had to play around with that. And that was that was that was great fun and very impressive as well. And so we got back, and I thought, well, well we're still here to tell the tale. We're still here to tell the tale. So we didn't kill us. Yeah, we didn't blow up or anything. <laughs> we, didn't go in, we didn't disappear into a big pool of flames. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it didn't catch fire. Yeah. And autopilot didn't kill us. Yeah. So it's not as bad as it's the make out. Out. So um, <laughs> we managed to negotiate a test drive in a P90D, which is the performance model with the 90 kilowatt hour um, battery. Um, and this, the, the, the Tesla we had had ludicrous mode fitted. And by default, it has insane mode? Yes. Yes. And how fast is the insane mode? Uh, the insane mode is 0 60 in 3.1 seconds. And Slow, if you have yeah. Ludicrous mode, it's 2.8. Oh, it's 2. it's 2. all about 8. numbers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and the video is uh, online, so take a look at that and you'll see some of the ridiculous <laughs> ludicrous mode reaction shots. So when I decided that Tesla was definitely something I would like to own, the decision then was which one would I go for? Obviously, at the time, it was only the Model X that was out. They've since uh, introduced the Model X. So I was deciding on which of the Model S vehicles, uh, batteries do I go for, really. And so in thinking about how I'm going to use this car, I was thinking that the Model S really is just going to be my perfect car to get to the office and back. It's going to be my commuting car. So I was thinking about, well, actually, my head is telling me that the, that the 60, which they just released at the time when I was looking to order the car, Actually, my perfect Model S. Yeah, so what's the 60 got? The 60 is... So the 60 gives you a range, uh, it says an NEDC range of 248. What's, what's NEDC? Well, I mean, that, that's basically, that, that's, that's a published range, which no one's ever done a realistic Oh, so on, under test conditions. So they, they, they say that 70%, you take that take that figure, take 70% of the published range is actually right. what you're going to really get in the okay. real scenario. So a 60 really is all I need. But having had the P90D <laughs> ludicrous, there's this bit inside you, especially yeah. being a petrol head, and there'll be other people that probably can relate to this who have driven a Tesla or maybe even have a Tesla. Well, do we laugh more in the 85 or the P90D with ludicrous mode? Well, yeah, I've got, I'll, decide you, for yourself. Decide, decide for the watch videos. the videos, yeah. Definitely decided I wanted one. Uh, my head was telling me the 60. I was going through the spec, saying, okay, autopilot, yes, definitely want that. Upgraded wheels is a must, so I wanted to have those. You get the Rainbow Road as standard now. Yeah, so that's good. So have a look at the P90D video for the Rainbow Road. Uh, air suspension is quite an important one as well. With the James Bond mode. With the James Bond mode, yeah. The standard as well. So <laughs> the air suspension is something that was fitted to both the vehicles we drove, and that was very impressive. 
So I'm going through and I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm going to want autopilot, going to want panoramic sunroof, upgraded wheels, then I need the air suspension. Uh, then you've got the premium uh, interior pack, premium upgrade package. Which you have to have, because Phil wants bioweapon defence. You've got to have bioweapon Just because defense. then you could say you go on a holiday to Chernobyl, and you're absolutely fine, if you wanted to. Exactly, yeah. Would be a good road trip, actually. Yeah. Heated seats, front and rear. Well, you get heated seats, front and stand. It's actually not bad. It's not bad. If you're getting, heated, if you're getting that kit from... Mercedes BMW, you wouldn't be talking about even 50 quid for no, you wouldn't. heated all round. But what you can do with the app is you can preheat your car in the Ooh. morning. So I thought, heated steering wheel is nice, I've got it on the Range Rover. Heated seats are standard anyway, so you don't need to slap those. And then there's heated seats in the rear, well, I never sit in the back because I'm always driving. So I thought, well, well, until the car can drive it itself, and then you're the safe from the back. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah. Um... so I might regret not specking that, but for now, <laughs> Until the regulation app, changes, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, the app will allow me to preheat the car, so I didn't bother with that. That's cool, so I'd avoid that. Ultra high fidelity sound? Well, it's a must, isn't it? But the car doesn't make a noise. No, the, the, yeah. I okay. mean, you, usually, if you're, getting, if you're getting a car that makes a fantastic noise, you probably don't listen to your sound system. But on this, you're definitely going to want to listen to it. So the high power charger upgrade, what does that do? So the high power charger upgrade is, is something I haven't selected because Really, to have the benefit of that, you either need to have three phase power installed right. at your home, or you need to, uh, or if you're going out and uh, not going, not not pick, not charging into supercharger, yeah. you would have the benefit potentially of getting up to sixteen and a half kilowatt hours. Oh, of charge. Of yeah, right. So you've got to select the uh, paint finish to start with. I've I've gone for a non-metallic white because I quite like that sort of clinical concept look of a solid white. So, and it stays on the metallic paint. So I've got the solid white. The colours are a bit drab, if I'm honest. Mm. The, the, the choices are basically white, black, a couple of shades of silver, and then red. Red, red and the blue. Yeah. So, they're nice colours. But, but the white looks so futuristic. The white looks good. Great. Especially in the facelift model, which obviously they've just brought out. Or do you wrap it? Well, don't start this. This is for, this is, this is. I did see a good one earlier on Instagram, actually. Yeah. I saw one wrapped in a uh, satin almost like a chrome matte blue. Yeah, Ooh, it yeah, good. a chrome blue would be a fantastic choice. I think it was on. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm gonna take the of it in the spec I've ordered it, obviously, and see how, see how I get on with it. And if that honeymoon period disappears, and I sort of think, yeah, I'd like it to look a bit more different, then I could potentially go take down that route. Yeah. So we shall see. So I, like, I prefer the darker headlining it's Alcantara now, Yeah, isn't it? which is nice. It didn't have any. No, and it made a huge difference. The, the much more premium feel. Um, so I would go for the uh, next generation seats, uh, the new ones, which you can select. What colour though? Light grey, I light think. Gray. I quite like. It's, it's a shame they don't do the small. white, because on the Model X they do um, that looks great. an ivory. Yeah. Like it's called it's a proper white. white. Yeah. And it's so futuristic. It's like you're getting some kind of space bus. No, no way that's possible for a family. Or a dog like no. a border <laughs> terry like that molts with black hair. So when you're on your budget spec, what were you looking at? A wood finish? Well, they, they do a standard um, black trim, which is, I think they call it a black wood um, of some sort. Dark, dark ash, ash wood. So that's a standard finish, which actually looks okay. Uh, the, the nice finish that you'd really want is the, probably mm, the car carbon fibre, fiber. that's like 850 quid or something. So, so that um, then, that, that is yeah, 70, K. 70 grand car. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot of money for a Tesla, uh, 60. Yeah. But that's how I'd spec it. I wouldn't bother with the dual motor if I was going for a 60 because if you upgrade it from a single motor to dual motor, that takes oh, yeah. the price from... Four, so it's four, four. it's 4,400 quid extra and you gain... How many, how many extra miles on the range? Five. You, give, you get five <laughs> mile, miles on the range for four and, a, four and a half grand and no performance enhancement. So I do well, not see the benefit of that. Point three of a second. Point three of a second. Yeah. You know, are you going to really notice the difference? I don't know. So so, so, that, so that's really, yeah. my, the head was telling me that's that's the one I need. Six, a 60 in that spec yeah. would, be, would be fine. But Christ alive, you know. But then just like when you're out shopping for a, a laptop, you have to look at the one that's got a faster processor, it's got more RAM, it's got a bigger hard drive. That's bigger it's quite a good analogy actually to like them. Because you start heading for a computer. Oh, I might as well go for 8 gig of RAM, 16 gig of RAM, why not? It's cheaper, easy to do it now. Mm. P90D. Uh, and then it has a nice expensive option here, doesn't it? The first option is ludicrous speed mode. 
Yeah. Ludicrous, ludicrous speed upgrade. How much is that? £8,700. See, that is worth every single penny. But that is on top of a car that's already worth £109,000. That is worth every single penny. Let's click it then. So click that. So click in that one. Can't find the spoiler. Well, you can't get this for love nor money from Tesla on any other car. No. They won't even chuck it in for free as a deal no. on a car that Tesla do not negotiate. So we'll have that. Definitely add that in. Oh, but they do chuck in the red brake calipers. You do get those. And you get your. Okay, this is. You have to collect all those, yeah. The selection it's quite a good the configurator, I have to say, on the Tesla website is very good. Um, and it does. It does Remember all the options you've ticked, so you just then select which batch that is good for. Wood trim? Wood. No. Great. You're going carbon fiber. You're going for carbon. But it is a 90D. With, with my personality, it's either <laughs> go straight down the sensible route. Budget or max out. Or just go for <laughs> YOLO. You only live once. Yes. Um, right, okay, so that is £119,400. Is it really? Yeah. Can I cancel your order? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so when did you order? Um, so I ordered um, uh, about middle of last month. Okay. And yes, I did go for the P90D with an Chris mode. There she is. Um, Very nice. But I thought to hell with it, <laughs> basically. It's a ludicrous decision on any level. Uh, really excited. Very, very much looking forward to it. Um, mine should be coming towards the end of September, early October. Obviously we'll be doing a full collection video on that. So is it and daily vlogs. It's built in California? It's built in California. That's Mine cool. has actually already been built. It is currently on a train crossing America where it will board a ship. First class, I hope. First class, I hope. Then it comes over <laughs> to, the ne to the Netherlands where there's also a Tesla factory there uh, where they will assemble the batteries and do various other bits and pieces to the car. Then the car will come over to the UK, and I have selected to pick up my Tesla from a service centre in Heathrow. You, they won't deliver the car, you have to pick it up from one of the service centres around the UK. I'm surprised it doesn't deliver itself. It, it, I'm sure it will do at some day. point in the future. I'm sure it will do. You buy um, it online, it arrives at your door, basically like Amazon. Well, I'm, to I'm told that the Model S's that are being built at the moment now have some hardware put into them ready for fully autonomous. Okay. So well, whether seeing... this is, I don't know that in, if mine includes this or not, whether this is just a rumour, but I've read that the technology is being put into the cars now, the raid, the hardware is in the Model S, ready for it to be a fully autonomous vehicle. So very much looking forward to it. Um, we, I'm hoping that we may even try it and get over to the Tesla factory in the Netherlands to hopefully see my Tesla, or if not, just to have a look at the factory in Tesla and do a tour as part of the uh, purchase experience. But you have an invite to the Giga factory. Which I would love to go to, yes. Uh, we can, uh, you have a free invitation as part of, of buying a Tesla to go over to the Giga factory in the world. Factories, how exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it does look amazing though. I, mean, I don't think if you had said to me five years ago when would I wanted to like go to, to a factory and I'd like, say, Sonic 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 factory. Factory. <laughs> yeah, I would have said, okay, well, that doesn't sound particularly interesting to me. But so this, is, this is the genius of Tesla and the brand, what they've been able to do, certainly for people like me and, and, and for Sonic, is that it sort of sucked us in a little bit. And we, 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 we're, very keen. we're very keen on the product. They've done a really good job with the Model S. I'm looking forward to the Model 3. It's almost hatchback size, really. It should be pretty impressive. I mean, well, especially the fact that it's going to be, 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 be two years away. Yeah. Um, until we get them in the UK, at least two years. Yeah. This is Tesla we're talking about. I'm really looking forward to pick up my Tesla, and I'm really looking forward to share with you guys my experience of the Model S. So if anybody else is thinking about Tesla, or you already have a Tesla, uh, I'd be really interested to share that experience. and certainly see what it's life is like driving an electric vehicle on a daily basis. Very interesting. So yeah, expect regular updates from Phil from the Tesla Model S and uh, see how you get on. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget to subscribe to find out more and we'll also keep you updated when the vehicle is due to arrive. Yeah, and... leave comments below. I mean, we've had so much interest on our um, road trip video and P90D ludicrous mode reaction video. Ludicrous mode reaction videos are going to be all over our YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, so much so you want to unsubscribe. Don't, please don't. 
There's more to come. Yeah. Um, cool. Off to space. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Thank you.